we're back on the roof with my umbrella. Um, so it's 100 degrees and this guy here is giving him a five flash code on the head unit, which is uh, overcurrent protection or compressor overcurrent protection. So apparently we've had the same issue in the past, uh, but uh, we, end, uh, we talked to tech support and they, it wasn't me, but the last tech talked to tech support and they said that, oh, it's a bad board. So we replaced both boards. So I think there's a one power board and then there's also a control board. Uh, so we're gonna open this up and see what's going on. I haven't killed the power yet. I wanna see if I can get error codes or whatnot. But uh, the fact that the two boards have been replaced tells me that maybe we actually have a compressor that's going bad. So we'll see. So uh, let's get this thing opened up and see what's going on. So here we go. Okay, so we got our little lights here. It's hard to see. But we got the red is solid and the yellow is blinking. One, two. So I got red solid and two yellows. So red is lighted and twice. So it says outdoor power system abnormality. Awesome. Don't you just love how specific their air codes are? So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have voltage. And we do. It's not bouncing all crazy. So let's go leg to leg just to make sure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good too. All right, well, let's go ahead and reset it and see what happens. And we want to leave them off for a good like 30 seconds uh, just to let the capacitors in the board uh, reset. Now, apparently both of these circuit boards have been replaced and this was one of the 15 codes they were getting. So who knows? So maybe there's an issue with the electrical. It might be some kind of uh, feedback or something. I don't know. I'm not an electrician, so I don't know. <sighs> these things are so testy. Okay, so we reset it. We have someone downstairs who turned it on for us. So the answer fan came on. I don't think the compressors come on. Yeah, no, compressor hasn't come on yet. So we got three amps. So we'll see. Doesn't look like we have any error codes. So our red has a steady flash see what that means. So stop due to overcurrent protection. Okay, so it ran for about two minutes and then it kicked off. I put on the gauges. Somebody put dye in this thing. So uh, we're gonna see what the pressures are looking like, but it's got a full charge for sure. Uh, I'm gonna, I have my Amtra on max, so I'm resetting it again. See if maybe it'll come back on. So let's see what happens. Okay, so it's cranked on. Compressor's not on yet. I just heard another click. Compressor looks like it's kicked on. Yeah, we're getting some amp draws. Okay. And here's our pressures. So we got a red flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight red flashes now. So now we got a different code. Uh, let's see. Red. Eight times. Stop due to overcurrent protection. It says IC411 on outdoor power PCB board is faulty. Yeah, so looks like the control board's dead. However, this is the same issue we had last time and the board's brand new, so yeah, we gotta see what's going on with that. So we got a bad uh, PCB board, uh, bad power board, so we're gonna go ahead and order up another one and uh, change it out again and see what happens. Maybe I'll get a hold of uh, tech support, but what happens is it runs, it uh, goes off on overcurrent protection, then it comes back on, it does that like three times, and then it locks out. So, yeah. Good times.
Okay, so we're back on this mini splint and uh, I popped this open, check that out. It's all burnt up. So definitely the board's bad. Uh, so I got both boards over there. Tech support told me to just bring, get both just in case. But now we got to find out why this is happening. This is, I guess this happened before. I don't know if it was burnt. I'm going to call the other tech that was here last time and see if it was burnt when he pulled it out. But yeah. Okay, so this is the, the old board, but uh, I already got the new one installed, but I wanted to show you this. So you have to put a thermal paste on here. It usually comes with it. So it's kind of like a CPU on a computer. Uh, you don't want to overdo it. So you want to just get like a good dab on there, like about that much. Maybe a little bit more than that. But you don't need a lot. You just want to get a nice, good, fat, like, bead on there. You want to put the bead in the center like that. And that's more than enough. Uh, and then when you, and then you're going to do that on all of the chips. And then when you're done with that, you're going to kind of, kind of rub it out a little bit, you know, just to kind of spread it and push on it. So we already got our new board installed. As you can see. Now it's very important that the screws for the CPUs are in there tight and not loose. Now, right here. There weren't screws. I don't know if they're supposed to be screws, but uh, there were no screws. So uh, I'm a little worried about that, but this is the more important thing. These are just those little little chips, but this is the CPU. So we want those tight. That way the heat will transfer to the thermal paste and then into the heat sink, which is this guy right here. So, but yeah, so now we're gonna change out the, the control board because um, that's the power board. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. You can't really plug anything in the wrong spot. It's all pretty much color-coded. Um, but basically, you want to unplug everything. Then these little clips, you have a clip here, a clip here, and a clip on top. It pops out, and then it just comes out, and you slide it out. And then same thing, you slide it in, click it in, and then plug everything back in, and that's it. So I'm going to get this all wired back up. Alrighty then. Well, we got her all put back together. Just make sure you plug everything in. I actually missed a wire, uh, but once I plugged it in, it came on. So just make sure you got all everything plugged back in and you should be good to go. But that's pretty much how you fix one of these mini splits. It tells you that what's wrong with it and you just do what it says. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Uh, hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.